speak. This is abductions of the highest level. They call it arrests, but we are demanding for, his, for Morara Kebaso to be released unconditionally. Come and see the way they are refusing us to enter. Come and see. They are refusing us to enter. Lawyer Kudza. They are not following the law, they are yes. following orders from above. Yes. So, Morara Kebaso has a right to breathe. Morara Kebaso is a Kenyan citizen and he must be released unconditionally. What to seek is this order to endure. Lawyer turned activist Morara Kebaso has been arrested today by police officers after a raid at his main office in Kahawaskari, Nairobi. His lawyer who followed the police car to Nairobi regional headquarters in Nairobi revealed that the team was blocked from accessing the facility. The lawyer told the press that the police had restricted access and have strict instructions from the top not to allow any person to access Morara, including lawyers, media personnel, and any other person. To access the area uh, in light of Article 49, but they've refused access. They've said, and quote and quote, that they have strict instructions from the top from the top, not to allow anybody access to Morara, including lawyers, media personnel, and other persons. So the question is, what kind of police service do we have here? They have no respect for the constitution, they have no respect for the rule of law, and the head is rotten, starting from the cabinet secretary of interior, all the way to the officers holding or manning these gates. We should condemn it in the strongest way possible. The lawyers questioned the type of police we have here in Kenya who do not have respect for the constitution, no respect for the rule of law, because the head is rotten all the way from the Minister of Interior, including all the officers that are holding Morara, and that it should be condemned in the strongest way possible. The cause of his arrest is still a mystery. In response to his arrest, several Kenyans took to social media to lament terming it as an abduction. A witness alleged that a Subaru Forester was used in the abduction incident. In one of the videos posted online after the arrest, the Subaru can be seen making its way along the Kasuba Highway. These are some of the reactions from Kenyans. They have orders from a higher office. Muna tuona kama matako yenu, sinio? Yo, we were silent. Mukaona ni kama tumekua washenzi. The only person we believe who can deny access is God. Nyinyi wenzetu tunapumua oxygen. Ni vile tu maybe you are protected, have bodyguards and all that. Wachana ni na morara buwana. Achilieni yu kijana Amujui watu amemisi barabara Na moshi Wachilieni morara You release morara Breaking news I may be a little bit behind Because nimi siku offline But uh, it is confirmed that uh, some unidentified people calling themselves DCI have picked Morara. And so guys, if you are near any police station, rush there. Let's protect Morara. He's one of us. He's doing an amazing job. Uh, make noise. Feel it on the social media platforms. Call the mainstream media. Let's look out for Morara. They should not touch him because I think they are testing waters. And what they don't know that Kenya is ripe for a bloody, bloody revolution if anything happens to that young man. William Ruto, do not test us, please. Most of us are ready and willing to go down for this country. Country. Don't test that kind of patriotism. Don't release Morara kindly, Tafadali. A very saddening information regarding the illegal arrest or rather abduction of one of our, our own comrade Morara Kebaso. Uh, great people, we must come out and defend our fellow Kenyan. We must come out and defend our own. Comrade Morara Kebaso has been arrested for one sole reason. For divulging information regarding corruption in the Republic of Kenya. 
he has been arrested because of divulging information about the stalled projects in Kenya, information regarding uh, stadiums, uh, corruption scandals in stadiums, in dams, in learning institutions, in KMTCs that have been uh, built over time without completion, and the siphoning of billions of Kenyans taxpayers money. I want to urge everybody that is watching this video at this particular moment that you must come out. We must agitate for the release of Comrade Murara Kebaso. Because if we do not come out at this particular moment, then it means next time it will be any other usual thing that the government will be thinking of doing and they will do it. If we have supported uh, Morara Kebaso and now that he is in trouble, we don't come out to protect him, then the government will know they can do anything at any given moment, that they can abduct anybody at any particular moment without a reaction from the Kenyans. And therefore, I want to urge every one of us to come out in all our media uh, platforms, be, the, be it Twitter, be it um, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and any other platform possible. And tomorrow, if they shall have not released Comrade Morara Kebaso, I swear I will be number one to be in CBD to protect and reject this outright impunity being exhibited by the Kenyan government. And Morara Kebaso had spent the better part of the weekend in Bomet and Kericho counties, carrying out his usual civic education rallies and exposing stalled government projects in the president's staff. Barely an hour before he was arrested, Kebaso took to his ex account to denounce the brutal abduction and torture of Mombasa based blogger Bruce John. In the audacious video, Kebaso recounted Bruce's abduction ordeal, which was carried out by 20 individuals in the county who ordered him to apologize to the Mombasa governor. He was then tortured and sodomized. He never made it to the governor's presence as was planned. Kebaso then gave the Inspector General of Police Douglas Kanja an ultimatum to arrest the governor to answer to charges of being an accessory and conspirator to the crime. He said that the governor should be investigated and arrested and if it is not done, he is ready to suspend all activities for nationwide demonstration. And let's come out. Let's be in unity as we tackle this. And these are very outright and strict and very stern warning to our security authorities. This is against the law. This is against humanity. Thank you.